Hey guys, it's Gary. Um, today we're going to do something a little different. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how I make my world famous blackberry pie. It's actually a pie that my daughter requests every year for her birthday. Um, we actually go out probably around end of August, first part of September, pick the blackberries, freeze them, and then her birthday's actually tomorrow. So I'm making a fresh pie tonight. Um, I'm going to show you the ingredients. Um, I'm going to do the best I can. I've never done a pie before on video, but we'll probably be using um, the chesty clamp, um, but everything's going to be done on this on the Hero 6. And uh, so you just have to bear with me on the angles and stuff. I'm trying to get everything the best I can. Um, I'm looking using the GoPro app to see how everything's framed. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Right here, I got our berries. And um, if you guys want to write it down, it's uh, four and three quarter cups of berries. And if you look here, I'm right at probably about five or so. And so we're going to put them in the pot. They're still slightly uh, frozen. Um, everything I got, I got mixed out already. Um, we have one and a half cups of sugar. Six tablespoons of flour. Um, one tablespoon of tapioca. It comes in like a box. It just helps make your pie thicken a little bit better and just taste better. Um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I got butter for later. So right now I'm going to just change views. I'm going to mix this up and we'll keep going. Okay, so we just mix it all together. Um, I try to crush the berries a little bit just to get a little juice going. Mm. We we get it all mixed together and if you see right now I'm just kind of smashing a few get some juice they'll be it'll, it'll taste really really sugary um, and then a lot of that will a lot of that will cook out I'm just trying to get all the dry ingredients, like right, right in here. Still got the flour and the sugar showing. Just trying to get everything to show the blackberry color. without beating up my berries too bad. And that looks about perfect. and taste even better. I'm 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'll go ahead and get the ingredients um, measured up and made up for the pie crust. And then we'll come back. So we'll see you in just a minute. So on the flour, I'm gonna just show you how I measure my flour. So let's get two and two thirds cup. So what I do is I just get a big full, big full cup of flour. And then I just take the knife. I'm not packing it, I just scrape it so it's nice and level. So that's one. That's our two and two thirds. Okay guys, so what I use is I use the, uh, the Crisco. It's a one cup, um, one cup stick. So we got our flour. We got our two and two thirds cup of flour. And what we do is we cut in this cube of the butter flavored Crisco. And I use a fork just so I can push, break it up and get it in there. And we just want to basically cover all, get all our flour covered with that, that Crisco. Just cut it in. Should make a, it should look like a bunch of like peas when we're done. If we do it right and I'm, I'm this the directions I give you the ingredients list I gave you is for two 10 inch pie crusts so a top and a bottom and I use a either eight or a nine inch pan so this gives me enough dough that I'm not trying to squeeze it out to make it cover and work This is the probably the critical part. You want to get it all just so it's kind of a dirty yellow looking color, the Crisco color. And the same with like the berries, we want to get it so there's no the white flower our lighting's not the greatest so I'm hoping you guys can see Cut in there. 
And we do now in seven to eight tablespoons of cold water. The colder, the better. And I'll put in like half of it spread out. So that, that was four. And this should start making it clump up. It's not a it's not a science it's not a it has to be that way do you want to use enough water where it starts clumping together and it's basically cleaning the side of the bowl off batch we used 10 waters all right close enough I could use the counter, which I might probably end up doing, but we're going to try this first. So whatever you're going to roll it out on, don't be shy, put, get some flour on it. So there's probably bakers out there that say that I'm doing this wrong, but that's fine. This is my pie, that's not your pie. But if you would eat my pie, so I'm just trying to make it into two, same size. Again, this is the 10, eight, 10 inch recipe. And I hope everybody can see. And we're just going to roll this out. Try to roll it so it rolls out into a circle. Keep try to keep your thickness the same all the way through or 
where it's kind of falling apart on the edges. I just, you can see, I just kind of pushed it and got it back into where I wanted it. Make sure I'm big enough. And get it so it's unstuck. Kind of work it into the into the corner. Good. And before you put the second one down, you want to make sure you reflower, get anywhere the, the first crust dough stuff. Okay, so our oven just went off. Double check our foil. So the timer just went off at 30 minutes and we're going to take a look at it, pull the foil off. And there it is, guys. Black, a blackberry pie. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. If you need the recipe again, um, just leave a comment and I'll get one back to you. And thanks again. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.